What is up, my friends, and welcome back to the lounge. Glad to be here. We are going to do a part two on the uh, mental abuse um, compared to physical abuse and uh, other things like that. So uh, the reason reason being is I've seen that, you know, even with a couple comments, you know, it, it really uh, got me thinking. And I mean, let's let's face it here that this is uh, mental abuse is a is a very serious serious thing and there are a lot of people that just don't know how to get through it um you're, you're looking at one right now i i went through it i went through it for uh at least 10 years and i'm going to share that story with you i'm going to open up to you guys and share with you the stress that i went through and I want you to know that for nobody is it ever easy to talk about it. It's not easy for me to talk about it. It's not easy for anyone to talk about it. Uh, but I'm going to talk about it. Now, you know, has this problem been taken care of? Yes, it has. Um, even coming from, you know, the, the, the person that did it, uh, it's even changed with that person. Now, that doesn't mean that uh, I'm still connected with that person in that way anymore because obviously I'm not. But you have to recognize a problem that you're going through before you can fix it. And sometimes, sometimes we don't want to recognize it. So let's go ahead and get started. And uh, remember, if you've got anything uh, that you would like to add, please be sure to leave your comments below. Um, and maybe if this, you know, gets enough, uh, attention, maybe we'll even do a live stream, uh, covering this, uh, type of abuse so that other people can, uh, interact in with, you know, uh, the conversation and, and be able to, you know, ask questions or, uh, make suggestions or whatever. So let's go ahead and get this started before we do. We've got a quick announcement. And then I'll be back. We just want to remind you guys that the coffee mugs have been ordered. Uh, we are waiting for them to come in and then we will be showing them to you. Uh, to those of you that um, contributed to help get those coffee mugs. Uh, you will be getting one for free. And those that uh, might be interested in getting one for yourself. Um, that option will be available as well. We're going to be doing a live stream for that. And uh, we also got another uh, cool little... Uh, goodie that we uh, are going to be having uh, brought in as well. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys will enjoy, uh, you know, yeah, the mugs. For that said, if you don't mind, give us a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button if you are subscribed. Be sure to tap on that bell there on your screen to set your notifications. For that said, let's get on with the show. All right, you guys, I am back. Um, before we get started here real quick, I'm going to let you know that uh, the, the video is not in landscape, okay? For some reason, um, I'm not sure what the problem is because the, the camera is, you know, the camera on the phone, uh, and it should go to landscape when you turn the phone. And some might say, well, you got to go and change the setting. I did that. Still would not go into landscape. I don't know why. Um, I don't know if it's, a, if it's a new thing with iPhone 10. No idea, but it just won't. So I'm hoping that uh, I'm getting myself in this video good enough for you guys, okay? Um, if not, let me know, or if you know a suggestion, by all means, um, throw it at me. Let me know what I gotta do to fix this, okay? All right, so I told you guys I was gonna share my story. Um, the abuse that that I went through. It was never, it was never something that I ever wanted to admit. But the hardest part out of all of it was getting out of it. It was getting away from that abuse, right? That was the hardest part. Um, and even even now, I, I I can't tell you fully if it was more about. Uh, you know, I just didn't want to admit it, 
Um, what I can tell you is that when you get stuck in a certain situation for so long, it becomes a normal part of your life and you don't recognize it being as bad as what it really is. People around you recognize it. They say, hey, what is going on? You're going through this, you should not be going through this and you, and you don't see it that way. You don't see it being that bad. What I wanna tell you though is it is. It is that bad. Um, it's a probably a good answer for why from time to time, not very often, but from time to time, uh, anxiety hits me, right? Out of nowhere, like that. Uh, the first time it ever happened, Obviously, I was actually awake, um, and it just kicked in. It's not a fun experience. Not a fun experience at all. The second time, uh, I woke up middle of the night, and this was probably about, the first time was over 10 years ago. So when I say I, I very often have these, it's usually split up really far apart. Um, so the first time over 10 years, actually, probably about 12 or 13 years ago. Um, and then recently, I woke up, got up, went to the bathroom, bow, hit me when I jumped in the bathroom. Uh, it's, it's a scary, scary thing. You know what it is. You know what's going on. You know what to do. But you never get used to it. You never get used to it. Um, I believe, and maybe I'm wrong, but I think it's because of the abuse that I did go through, right? I believe that that has a connection. Uh, again, I've not spoke on this, really opened up to anybody about it, uh, because it's something that I went through. I dealt with it, and I moved on. I am, a, I am a person that is about moving on, doing better, moving on, and forgetting about it, right? That's, that's me. That's what I do. Uh, that doesn't mean you forget what you're going through if you're still going through it. Don't forget about it. Don't ignore it, and don't think that it's normal, because it's not. Uh, now, where was I? That you think that it's normal, right? There was times, like, I'd be, you know, ready to get out of the house and get away from the person that was doing it to me, always teasing me and, uh, you know, verbally abusing, um, name calling and criticizing and stuff like that, right? Um, so then you get, like, you're ready to go, I just gotta get out of the house a while, <coughs> excuse me, go hang out with a friend, whatever, whatever the case, right? Um, I want to make sure. Please tell me this is... Let me check something real quick, guys. Voice over on. Low battery. Portrait. One face. Lo close. Close. Button. Camera. Five minutes. 19 seconds. One face. Stop recording video. Button. Stop recording. Stop recording. Take picture. Viewfinder. Five minutes. Five minutes. Tw one phase. Large phase. Five okay. minutes. Twenty-seven I seconds. I just wanted to make sure. I thought I was recording on the wrong side of the phone. One phase. Voice over off. Um, let me plug this guy in because he's going dead. Come on, unhook. This guy. Um, so basically, you know, here I'm ready to get out of the house, get away from it, go hang out with a friend for a while, and this is when I was going through it. Okay. Not now, obviously. Um, then I would leave. Like, I'd be like, okay, I'm gonna stay all night. But then, when you get away, like, I would get away from home or whatever, and I would feel out of place. Like, I wanted to go back home. Right? You get so used to it, to where you don't know how to act away from it so please please know that I understand what you're going through if you're going through it but 
but what I can tell you is that you're going to feel so much better about yourself, about who you are, and where you're going in life, and the things that you want. You're going to feel so much better about it. As a matter of fact, it was after I got out of, the, out of that situation that I started paying attention to the goals that I forgot. <clears throat> and that's why today, that's why today I push people to go for their goals. That, you know, hey, if you got a goal, if you got a dream, go for it. Don't forget about it. Because you can reach that dream. You can reach that goal. That's why I, I published a course showing people, you know, step by step, showing people how to do it. Because it's something that me, nor you, or anyone else deserves to miss out on in life. Because it's your life. And that clock, that clock is your life. And there's only one shot. You don't get to relive life over. Once, once it's done, it's done. But you've got to take action today, not tomorrow. And I mean that so heartily. And I mean that in a positive way. But back to the abuse here. You get away from it and you want to get back because you feel out of place. You go out in public, you feel like you need to be around that person. You need to be back in that environment. And you get so used to it, you don't realize how bad it is. It's when you're loved ones or the ones that care about you notice it and they bring it to your attention enough to where you, you finally realize that they're right. Don't be mad at someone trying to help you or someone bringing it to your attention. Okay, don't be mad at them. Understand that they see it. They see it more than what you do. And they just want to see you get out of it. Nobody deserves to be mentally abused. Nobody. Not one person deserves it. Not you or anyone else. We all deserve to be treated equally. We all deserve to be respected and loved and cherished. We all deserve to live a happy life. But we have to put in our part. If you're allowing the mental abuse to continue to go on and on, that's why you're missing out on all the other wonderful things in life. So, if you're going through it, if you can nod in agreement to the things that I said of what we go through about feeling out of place when we're, when we're not around it, where we can't go out in public because we feel like we're the ones in the wrong when we're not. You know, simple, simple things. Mental abuse is a horrible thing. And, you know, they love to blame you for everything, anything that they can do to make sure you feel bad about what you're doing or the choices you made or who you are. They're going to give you all the negative things and it's going to build up and eventually something's going to happen. As the old saying goes, something's got to give. Well, something's got to give for you. Stop taking the mental abuse. And I get how hard it can be. But I promise you, if you follow me on this, and if you trust in me on this, it gets way better. My life completely turned around once I got away from that. You know, at the, at the time, I didn't have anything. And now today... I'm getting the things that I want. 
buying a house, the vehicles that I want, the, the education that I want, the self-esteem that I wanted, the motivation that I have. All that stuff comes after you take care of the problem. I went through a lot. I was made fun of con consistently. Called blindness, blind that. I was called a, a blind B-A-S-T. I'll let you add the rest to it. I was called no good. A son of a bee. A piece of trash. Uh, I was teased when I'd go to, to work on something. Oh, can you do it? You sure you can do it? Because you can't see. Uh, no one else will have you because you can't see. You'll never get someone decided because you can't see. Oh, can you cook? Because you can't see. Can you fix that? Because you can't see. Can you put that? And this was every day. Consistently. What I will tell you is this. You will think about it even when you get away from it. You will be... It's, it's there. You'll never forget it. But your life will change so much for the better that because you're just thinking about what you went through, it's not going to be bad at all. Because you're going to realize, I changed it. I got away from it, and now my life's going better. Listen... You don't deserve it, whether you're a man or a woman. You don't deserve it. Get yourself out of the situation. You don't got to live life unhappy. You don't got to live life being treated like you're garbage. Like you're the carry-out garbage waiting to be taken out to the dumpster, right? Or like a baby. Don't put up with it. It's not worth it. Uh, you guys leave your comments. I'd appreciate it. If you'd like to maybe... You know, if, if you ever need someone to talk to... Listen. I'm here. And I'm sure there's others that will slowly step up and say, Hey, I've been through that. I'm here. Let's talk about it. It makes it easier to talk to someone that's been... It's been through it than someone that has it, right? Um, you know, we've even got the, the phone line that we're getting ready to uh, talk about later tonight that's being opened with the 800 number that you can call. I'm literally thinking about adding an extension just for people to use if they want to call and talk about that, right? Because that stuff's so important. Get out of it today. The person doing it to you, they don't care. They do not care. And maybe later on when they realize what they did, now that you're not no longer under their grip, they might change their ways, hopefully. But right now, you got to take care of you. Get out of the situation. Don't put up being mentally abused. Mental abuse and verbal abuse is so much worse than physical. See, physical, people can see it. When it happens to you, they see it. And when people see something, if they if they see something drawing your hurt like that, they're, they're stepping in to help you go get yourself taken care of, go to the doctor. Bam, you heal, right? But the wounds inside don't heal so easy. And when people don't see it, they don't know about it. And when they don't know about it, it only builds up and builds up and builds up. Either you're going to end up having a nervous breakdown, a heart attack, or you're going to lose your freaking mind, flip out on somebody, hurt somebody, and ruin your whole life. Don't be that person. Take care of yourself. Get out of it. I got lucky. I recognized it after 10 years. I recognized it. Actually, before then, there was a little more involved in it, too, on my side. Because, you know, I had kids, so I didn't want to leave them behind. 
So I kind of stuck around, right? Every situation is different, but I'm here for you. Um, again, depending on how much energy this video gets and the other one, we might even do a live stream on it. I hope this helps you. Like I said, you only live life once. Don't let it just fly by. And then by the time you're in your 60s or 70s or you're, or you're at the end and all of a sudden you're like, dang on, why didn't I listen? Why didn't I do that? You can do it right now. Right now you could do it. It takes a lot of willpower. But with the right, he with the right help, the right people, the right motivation, and the right education, you can be free today, my friend.